The drawing management environment in AutoCAD Architecture helps you create, access, organize, and coordinate all your project drawings in one consolidated interface. The project browser, accessed from the streamlined ribbon user interface, is where you create new projects and browse for a project to work on. The project browser also offers a customizable bulletin board to communicate project information, such as project size, type, location, and client, as well as display an interactive DWF of the project. Once you choose which project to make your active project, closing the project browser displays the project navigator palette. When using the project navigator palette, accessing your drawing files is very similar to how you would access them via your Windows Explorer. However, a key advantage to using the Project Navigator is that drawing access is integrated directly within AutoCAD architecture, meaning you don't have to leave the application to load files or search through complicated directories that could potentially be scattered throughout your network. There are a few key concepts you should know when working in a project environment. The Projects tab displays basic identifying information about the current project, including the number of levels and divisions. Levels are where you specify the floor elevations for your building, while divisions allow you to optionally subdivide larger building plans into areas or wings. The Constructs tab is where you create and organize the drawings that contain the basic geometry of your building. These base files can contain AutoCAD architecture objects, 2D AutoCAD line work, or a combination of both depending on your needs. If you normally define base drawings using AutoCAD that you then X-reference together, this workflow should be familiar. The main difference is that in AutoCAD architecture, you indicate where the base drawing resides in the overall building, specifically what level it should belong to. In some cases, like the curtain wall facade of a building, the construct drawing might belong to or span several levels. Elements provide a convenient block library for repeated elements such as repeated building core or typical office furniture layouts. Elements can be easily XREFed into your base plans by dragging and dropping from the project navigator. Explore the sample project to see more details about its use. Notice how when you click on a drawing, you not only get a preview of the drawing file, but you can also get other important information, such as when the drawing was last modified and by whom. Additionally, if you're interested in a tool that will automate the creation of project drawings, such as floor plans, sections, elevations, and even schedules, the Project Navigator can help here as well. The Views tab allows you to specify in architectural terms which base drawing files or constructs to automatically gather up to create the desired plan. For example, creating a view of the first floor is a very easy task. Simply specify the desired level and the Project Navigator will walk you through its creation, automatically filtering out drawings belonging to other floors. The appropriate base drawings are automatically X-referenced to the newly created floor plan view, eliminating the traditional method of attaching these files manually. You'll see in the Creating Sections movie how placing a section mark also automates the process of creating a section view of your project. With the floor plan created, you can now annotate it with door tags, callouts, and dimensions. Because Project Navigator streamlines the coordination of drawings, placing drawings on a sheet for plotting couldn't be easier. If you are familiar with the Sheet Set Manager in AutoCAD, you should notice that the Sheets tab of the Project Navigator is nearly identical. Simply create, name, and number a new plot sheet and drag and drop the view onto the sheet. AutoCAD Architecture's Project Navigator automatically creates a viewport, attaches the view drawing at the scale you specify. When using callouts, notice when a sheet number changes, any references are automatically coordinated.